What's up, everybody? This is Nomadix, and today I'm coming at you with a Count Dooku deck. So this is the deck right here. We've got three support cards. We've got the TIE Bomber for a quick clear. We've got Vulture Droid for a quick clear, plus a 2600 HP unit, which is pretty dece. And we've got Pike Traps so that we can hopefully lock down leaders and or lock down ATRTs and shoot them with Rocket Trooper. At least that's the idea. We're running the Executioner because he's pretty good at dealing with Swarm. He's really tanky, which means he's a little bit better in the current meta. Oh, I'm not going to say he's better than Sand Trooper, but he's easier to protect than Sand Trooper. And we've got First Order Stormtroopers for the quick push and or split lane push. We've got the Riots so that we can hopefully deal with the Deflect Leaders, and that's the deck. So... We're going to go ahead and jump into the first match and see how we do. I have played like 10 different Dooku decks, like just constantly changing something, constantly changing something until I settle on one. And I've played two games with this current deck, and I feel like this one is somewhat well-rounded, somewhat. Uh, I'm not going to say it's, it, it's completely optimized, because it's clearly not. But it is better... Then, ooh, got him. Damn, but he wasn't in tower range. I was too fast. I was too fast. Did you see that? I was too fast. Okay, so he's coming at me with that. We're going to drop Executioner here. He's going to straight chop all of those guys in one go. Now, I'm going to walk behind this. I'm going to come in and be like, oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Not coming in there. They played Sniper in front. That's an interesting choice. Um, What am I going to do here? So, I'm going to have to kill this. I think I may actually have to Vulture Droid his tower. I think that's what we're going to have to do here. Doing it. Okay. And whenever that comes down... Actually, we're getting out of there. We're not staying and hanging out with that. So I'm going to Pike Trap all of this. I'm going to come forward. We're going to play the Axe Guy. Should take all of this out pretty good. Use... Did y'all see that? I missed my lightning. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious right now? Okay. So I'm just standing in front to protect. Getting out of there. Not trying to hang out with that. Oh, oh, stop it. Okay. He's still attacking me. That counterattack, though. Did y'all see that? I just bonked him. Okay, so, he's playing that. Um, again, I'm not exactly sure what to play. I kind of want that to lock on to me or something. Something other than, than that. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and use our special here. Oh, we hit. Oh, we hit. We hit it, baby. Okay, so, now we're running in. I think, um... Uh, no. Oh my gosh. Come on. What are you doing? Get out of there. So we're going to play this here. We're going to play this here. Axe Guy does pretty well. Pretty well against ATRTs. I'm pretty sure. So that cleaned up that push. Now I know he is going to play his homie right here. Here he comes. There he is. Okay. So we're going to wait for that to come in. We're going to lock him down. Just kidding, we're not. We're, we're going to try, though. Come on! Please move. Okay. Playing Rocket Stormtrooper here. Playing this up front. I should be able to get in. I'm probably going to take out that tower because he's not responding at all. Uh, he's pushing the opposite lane, so his strategy was to push the opposite lane. Not a bad strategy, to tell you the truth. But no time. There's just no time. And we took it out. So, the deck that I was initially running, actually, I mean, I've played so many that it's not even, like, relevant anymore, but I've tried it with Stun, I've tried it with without Vulture Droid, like, obviously changing up all of the cards, not just, like, single cards, so I can't exactly show you without taking up a bunch of time, and ain't nobody got time for that. Maybe I'll, we can go over it on stream at some point, but that's probably never going to happen. Let's be real. 
Uh, so, I feel like this deck is somewhat balanced enough. It allows you to slow play-ish. I mean, you don't really have to. So we're just going to drop this here. He's going to come forward, right? Yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, no. Get out of there. Okay. So he's got pretty high-level cards. I don't think I saw who I was playing against, but level 16s on the towels. I know it is one of the original cards, so can't say I am that surprised, but as soon as he plays more... Okay. So here comes the Mac Daddy push. We're going to pin it down. We're going to play Rocket Trooper in the side. And this should let us take it out without those ATRTs doing any damage. And I have a probably 1900 HP tank in front. Okay, so there's his clear. We're going to play this. We're going to play this. Okay, use lightning. Use the lightning. He can't deflect that. Okay. Oh, and we got him. We're going to come in here and do as much damage as we can. I want a tank. I'm going to play this in the opposite lane. So I should die here, but we should take out the tower. Maybe not. Close, though. Very close. Very close. So, the reason I settled on this deck is because I felt like it was the most well-balanced for what what is currently meta. Uh, as far as what I'm going to do with my current hand, I guess I'm just going to have to draw Bomber here. Don't love it, but it is what it is. Pretty much the only play that I had. Is he going to ATRT me? He is. Okay, so take that out, please. I'm going to have to drop this here. I have to drop this over here. Eye on mine. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. And he's got stun. Is he focusing me? I think he is. Okay. He's got to get out of there. He's got to get out of there. Okay. We're going to come forward now. Bomb this. Take it out. Get out of there. If he comes forward here... Okay. So he's not. He's changed his mind. He knows he's going to have to T70 this, probably. So I'm going to have to play this on the opposite side. I, I don't want him to get free value there. Okay, so he has Bomber, too. Ooh. He's going to have to T-70 it. I don't think he has a choice. If he wants to be in the game. Yep. So there's the T-70. We're going to use this. Come on, kill him. Kill him! Play this on the inside. We need to take him out. Oh my gosh, I just, I just jumped across. Didn't mean to. Please kill him! Oh my goodness, come on. Does he ever die? He never dies. He's invincible. Okay, so i got some units going in there and doing damage. Should be able to just kind of mosey our way on in here. Oh, and I think I got it. Oh, yes. All right, so this deck, I think it's pretty good. I think it is pretty good. Good game, dude. But, I mean... I I think it's got what it needs. I am going to say about Dooku, he's one of those leaders that's that seems like he's going to have a high skill cap. And the only reason I say that is because he's got a ranged skill, but he's a melee leader. So you have to be at certain distances engaging like it's actually quite difficult to get your pike trap correctly and make sure that you're able to adequately defend against ATRTs because that's freaking the most meta thing ever. Uh, playing against a Ray, this is probably not going to go... Oh, shish. That's not good. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. We're going to play this. We're going to pike trap everything. I think we're going to have to drop our Vulture Droid here. Don't love it, but we do what we got to do. Okay, focus on the freaking Arc Trooper. Arc Trooper's killing me. Oh man, Arc Trooper is so clutch. That range though, the range on your unique is actually quite good. Quite good. 
So I don't have any cards that I can actually play against at Ray. We're gonna have to Rocket Trooper the other side. I'm gonna get out of there. And we're gonna see what he plays. All right, if he wants to just stand there, then that's fine. All right, so there's his, that's his move. That's his move there, okay. So, what to play, what to play. How to beat a Ray with this deck. Seems like it's gonna be quite difficult. I don't like building decks to just go around a certain meta, but maybe what I have to do here. So, uh, don't like this. Play Rocket Trooper on the inside. Okay, is he gonna steal it? All right, use my lightning on him. Oh no, he's out of range, isn't he? Okay, all right, should be fine. Kill him. Oh baby, kill him. Okay, coming in, doing as much damage as we can. We gotta do what we can when we can, guys. We gotta do what we can when we can. All right, getting out of there. Oh, dodge the stun, thank goodness. So he's got a few seconds to come in on me here. Oh, can't let those come in. I'm gonna have to Rocket Trooper the other side. I'm gonna play these over here. Let him steal those. Okay, cut him up. Oh no. Man, there's absolutely nothing I could do to stop that there. How unfortunate is that? Okay, so we're gonna have to cut it up. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna just have to man mode this tower over here. Got 10 seconds. Oh, baby. I don't think there's any time. He can't come in. We're not letting him in. That's it. That's not gonna take it out. Oh, baby. Managed to pull it off. All right. So, as you can tell, this Dooku deck works pretty well. I think this by far is the best that I've I've settled on so far. Again, I played probably 10 different decks with Dooku, like just changing things out and changing things out until I found a deck that seems to be working well against the higher level players. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a comment. I guess you could subscribe if you want. If not, that's also cool. I just appreciate y'all watching the videos and leaving me comments so we can have a discussion about what's good and what's bad. Anyways, guys, y'all take it easy. Peace.